What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to run off happened last time, uh, we have made a temporary peace with Sweden. And my hope is I can actually use this time to uh, fortify my front line and make it a bit more resistant to Swedish attacks. And part of this uh, peacemaking was due in part to being declared on by the Ottoman Empire. So we have gathered our forces in strength in the Balkans with a goal of pushing on and attacking Istanbul, which is their capital. We could look at attacking somewhere down to the south, but trouble is Jerusalem. Cairo is a valuable region, but Jerusalem really isn't, and this looks like quite a good way to get bogged down in a lot of meaningless wars. So I've, d I've decided to go for Athens. Uh, right now, current... Actually, I'll, actually, I probably will just attack it. Um, in order to free up another stack to either push Istanbul or threaten Ankara, because if we could take out these two, we might be able to get a temporary peace with the Ottomans to help grow our strength. We're on about 18,000 a turn-ish. We don't have... Well, we do have some good trade, but, I mean, Britain trades with us reluctantly. But apart from that, I mean, we're at war with Russia. I'd rather not be at war with Russia. I'd like to trade with Denmark, but they won't let us. But yeah, we've built a bit more of a front line um, against Sweden. I'm going to keep one of these armies here in London or in the UK to respond to attacks. But if Sweden declares on us, I will go on the offensive and attempt to land in probably Norway. Um, probably Norway, but we need to open up a new front. So what I'm tempted to do is take these chaps. It's quite a strong fleet. Get my third rate ship of the line into Nino D'Agostino, and then this fleet up here is full of. Well, actually, it's got a first, a third, and a, a lot of junk. So I'm tempted to throw, roll the dice and auto resolve just because they've got lots of armies here. I don't really want to try and. Uh, why don't I just sit here? Force them to make the choice while I grow my strength. We've got Ernesto Defendi. His army is replenishing, and then he also will probably join on and attack onto Ankara. What I'm going to do is take Mario Torricelli, and we're going to assault the, Gath the garrison at Athens, because I want to free up this army for an onward blitzkrieg into meaningful Ottoman territory. So let's take him on. Ankara, which might be able to get a piece, which will be useful in order to find... That would be my goal. At the very least, if we can uh, do a blow into Ottoman strength, we may prevent them from being a continued power. Damn, I did not look at my artillery! Okay. I did not look at this, the composition of his army. So, let's pick up you guys. You're going to be over here. How does, They're not terrible. I would just like more artillery. But what I am going to do is, because we do have an army reinforcing us, I'm probably going to keep two regiments of horse, but these three cavalry units can retreat from the field. So my howitzers just engage the walls like regular foot artillery. What are they gonna hit? What their artillery what's their artillery gonna hit? If it's aiming for our cavalry, let's spread it out either side of the guns. The generals? Nope. Don't need any more generals. Nor that regiment. I desire field artillery. Howitzer will do. Field artillery is better. Line regiment, no. Look at, look at the. Look at the, uh, the mess from all these units routing. 
obviously I'd like these guys dropping quicklime, but they need to start doing some work against the walls to prevent the guns from firing. But it is, no. To be honest, you're probably actually okay to be here. To fire at range. So I'm not after supreme accuracy or close quarters killing power. I am just looking for them to be within range. Grenadier guards, no. You. I don't need any artillery. I don't need any infantry or cavalry or anything like that. Yep, you're well within range. Who are you? The guards are deploying stakes and they've, de they've decided to run out of the wall. Okay, so let's switch one of our hearts and start dropping quicklime. Now we've got a full artillery unit to actually attack units on the walls. Finally knocked out one of our training teams. I think we've got more artillery coming on the field. I can see it on the map. There it is. Drop them up on the hill. To be honest, get both of these guys dropping quick lime onto uh, units on the wall rather than attacking here. Especially if they're all nicely bunched up for us. It's a good chunk of men. Although, to be honest, I could be tempted by a sudden, complete focus on round shot to destroy this section of wall, because there's a lot of men on that wall up on there. Sadly, these men suffer a lot of damage. So they get this guy to start plinking at that section of the wall anyway. To be honest, you probably go for that. You all go for this section of the wall. You might get quite far along the destruction side before this section of the wall is destroyed. He says, when, as it immediately gets destroyed. I suppose the smart money is to probably get it up to about 90%, then focus on a different piece of wall. position. Good, a big chunk of the garrison line have been knocked out. Because some of these units haven't taken the bait. I think we need to make some, to be honest, we need to blow some serious holes in this section of the breach here. Yep, 
which will be glorious when they do fire. Some of them are ready now. Shells are in. Shells are in the air. Oh, yes. There should be a few more where that's come from. If you were a bird looking at this mess, thinking, what the hell's going on? Oh, I'm nesting up here. They've all fallen over. Oh, I missed one. But, good god, that's lethal. Push my cover over onto this side because there's less, in, there's less like actual support. I might get one of these units to start focusing on units on this section of the wall. I'm curious to see how far this guy could reach. If I pushed him up, could he start dropping quick climb into the centre? I feel that like to keep engaging this section of the wall. More quick climb is coming in. I see the house, the shells. Yep, that's how you do it. Actually, you're probably good enough there. You guys start to provide some fire support onto this section of the wall to support the uh, your Russian, not Russian, uh, Italian brothers and sisters who are about to try and attack that section of the wall. Let's see if we run you guys forward. Can we lure these grenadier these uh, engineers to actually come out and fight? Might have to get the light infantry to keep attacking the 13th regiment of grenadiers up on the walls instead, rather than Rather than aiming at the actual uh, wall section we want destroyed. Quick plan coming in. Aiming at the Grenadier Guards. Miss. Misses. All misses. You can probably start bombarding the centre. Yeah, this is it. There isn't a... Uh, Fort you want to, a, there isn't a fort you want to get inside that you can't get inside with quick lime. The more, the more men they drop in to stop you, the more effective your quick liming is. Just as our men crest the ball, which let's focus more on knocking these guys out from up top. You, you, ooh, you, you, oh right, that's this guy. Yeah, drop some quick lime or one a volley at least on the centre. Shells away. They look good. Oh dear. There we go. Just thin them out a bit. These guys keep attacking the sections on the, up on the walls, so I don't want them firing into the combats, really. Unless it is something like this. Move you guys over here. You guys climb the wall. There we go. Starting to engage. are charging.
Well, provide fire onto the 18th. Or into the 18th. Firing into the head of their column. Third volley. Start engaging, I suppose. Get some marines up on that section of the wall. You go up there. Ooh. You run up to the centre. Marines climb up. There we go. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Attack pattern alpha. That's what I call this. There we go. So then these men can climb up, secure the gate for us. These guys are going to take a bit of a hammering. At the very least, this is why I want my Close, son. Keep dropping on the centre. So danger close, but did do a really good, really good hit against those grenadiers. So your job is not to attack. Your job is to wait. But your job is to try and take the gate. It should be ours, realistically. Yeah, come on, you guys keep getting up, keep getting up, keep climbing. section of the wall looks a bit poorly. You guys attack the garrison line, quick climbing, quick climbing the general. Let's get my men inside. You guys start round shotting the general. Knock out that unit of grenadiers. Take the gatehouse, charge into the fusiliers, because we all know fusiliers are pants. Although ideally, kill this grenadier, take the wall, these guys charge to the right and hit the garrison line. Good. I mean, I don't quite know why we haven't taken it yet, but whatever. So you hit that unit of Blunderbuss shotgunners. So we have taken it now. So you guys charge the engineers. Let's get my cavalry in. All of you guys want, need to attack this one unit. But it is Russian infantry, so they can hold out a lot better than you think. There we go, should be gunning down there. This isn't theirs. Oh, that is their general. Good. 
You men, get into get onto the square. Get onto the centre and form square. You guys, in. Good. Bayonet charge the 84th. Get you guys down here. Quick climb still firing, so let's stop that. You men, hold the centre, but then just pour fire by rank into the 84th. They are doing good though, when it comes to uh, slowing us down and holding us off. There we go, you meant fire into the 84th. Fire! Good stuff. Oh, they've broken. Greece, or Athens rather, is ours. Too bad we are we. One of our units did actually route. Huh, the 11th. End battle. Good. So we have nearby. Too bad we lost a thousand men. But we did take the city. A city, more to the point, which doesn't completely hate us. Then again, it did used to be ours. So there we are. We have that going for us. Okay, so I think if I move you guys out, I can run you guys into Athens and then out and around. Yes, there we go. So these three armies can advance as a, as a bunch towards Istanbul. This army, once it's replenished, plus... Mr. Defendi, they can both land and start to conduct operations against either Istanbul from this side or from the east. Or I may end up having to use my fleet to block, re uh, to block reinforcements. You don't really have a function, so let's run you up to Paris. Okay, you don't... Hmm. Now, let's get one of these sloops back over to Greenwich. London's very happy. Resistance to foreign occupation is down to zero. Classical economics is still on coming. We need that sooner rather than later. We haven't repaired, repaired everything in Paris. Well, I've repaired you, but we haven't repaired that palatial estate. It's growing by quite a lot though. A turn. You got to Paris as well. So I'm just waiting for the final or the eventual um, assault into Venice. Because they do have quick climbing howitzers as, howitzers as well, which means we do need more reinforcements ready. So let's hit end turn and see what. Obviously, Britain's declared war on me. So Ernesto may go south towards Tripoli instead. You see, they're moving a lot of stacks towards Istanbul. a lot of oh that's a lot of men attacking venice that is a lot of men attacking venice a lot of artillery as well um let's get that out it's a right at the bottom of the list okay then let's do it this could be a battle so what i've got to hope is they're forced to use their howitzers to beaches rather than actually uh, do damage What I don't want is for them to use their howitzers. Oh, they've already got a breach. Good, 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 good. Okay, so let's drop. To be honest, all of my howitzers are as far back as they can get. Because they're, they're definitely going to put a hole in there as well. So the core of our position here is going to be made up of... Two Swiss line. 
put a Swiss line in his command HQ, put a Swiss guards inside the armory. Let's not deploy infantry too far up. Like if I deploy them here, that's classic quicklime territory, it's going to kill them all. Even there might be a bit close, but I am going to experiment. Let's put some marines here to act as a bit of cover in case they try and get around the flanks. Then let's deploy a bunch of line here as reinforcements. And just deploy a line up here maybe general in the corner. Okay, so initially concentrate all your firepower onto that howitzer. So they're going to be round shots. Yep. Although some of you... Oh no! The larger howitzer can focus on counter-battery. The two smaller ones can focus on quicklime support. So these guys do have a howitzer. What are they? For foot artillery, what are they shooting at? This section of the wall. Well, it could be either of them, really. 14 and 60, okay. side okay well you guys can stay on here and be ready to uh, engage with volley fire Let's show and see if I can get one of you to just focus on dropping quicklime on the breach. Might not be very possible, but it may be critical. So they, ju they are within range of quicklime there. Ju well, they might be just out, actually. But my guard infantry is able and ready to engage. Yeah, 24 pounders, you focus on trying to hit their artillery with whatever success you can muster. The shorter range guns so hopefully should be better at putting more quick line into the breach itself. So let's get you out of here. Okay, you need to get out and then get into fire at will position. Quick climb away. Devastating. But we just got to keep firing it in there as quickly as we can. We can't really... Okay, you guys are going to try to charge us. Good, as long as you're not going to actually attack us.
bearing in mind this is going to be a breach that we can't actually uh, quick climb into, which is going to be frustrating. So I have to do something like that to try and maximise firepower. You're slowly chipping away at their guns, but I'm now starting to wonder, is, is this is the better use of this time actually on uh, just quick climbing their, in, their army and getting their infantry to, to rout? Is that the best use of their time? And the answer to that actually might be maybe. See if you can also garrison this fire step because that may be necessary because they've got two two units of infantry and a janissary unit getting ready to come in here fortunately we do have the command hq to fire some flanking musket shots come on marines get into position come on howitzers reload Try and get inside the gate. Oh, if you could fire your howitzers now, or at least quickly. No, nope, 24 pounder. They're firing off at the something else. Yes, short round. Yes. There you go. New charge into the side of the Nizam. Here comes the Muslim. The Semite Janissaries are in, but they're also routing. Run someone up to tag the, uh, the flag to make sure it goes back to our control. Then get back. To be honest, you guys may want to actually stand back to allow these guys a clear field of fire and also to see if they allow you to fire by rank into them and not actually charge you. This unit of Muslim are coming back. Gotta be careful that they don't count to battery us into submission. You guys need to not be on fire at will, that's for damn sure. Okay, the longer set of guns, which the heavier guns, go back to attacking the full artillery, but their initial wave has been repulsed. They still have some strength out here. But from a morale perspective, they are weak. Target one unit to maybe more specifically go after this unit of Mamelukes. Let's see what they see as they charge in. Firstly, they ride over a heap of fallen comrades, and the initial fusillade of shots from Swiss infantry hits them, and they get hit by the Swiss Guard infantry. musketry from the rest of the army comes in.
but this this sort of formation is perfect for fighting cavalry because it's at an angle cavalry are big targets so they they're much easier for your men to hit so these guys that are coming in are Mam more mamelukes and sepahi which we may have to then go into square formation for these men are still they didn't have enough strength Okay, you guys need to stop firing now, because the, these guys back here will definitely kill your own men. You guys need to reload. Could go into square, but maybe, maybe should, but don't want to. Just counter charge them. guys okay now you're starting to look a bit depleted so let's put swiss guard over here bring unit of marines into the mix more cavalry coming in general's bodyguard long range artillery it's still not really doing anything so i'm Probably gonna stop doing that. So let's keep one unit still focused on dropping quicklime on the gate, but keep my keep two other units more a bit more flexible. These Muslim don't have much of a chance, not against the Swiss line. No, there they go. So here comes the General's bodyguard. The green man himself has grown tired of... Quick climb has been missing. The Sultan himself has grown tired of uh, waiting outside. He's going to run down this section here, avoiding musketry from the command HQ, but right into the, uh, the waiting muzzles of a bunch of infantry. The general has died on the field. As they must retreat. Swiss line, tag the uh, tag the centre. Swiss guards may now fire. Going to be on fire. Oh, I'm going to actually control how fast they fire because they are rapidly running out of ammo. But I think well, the reinforcements are coming in, but now they they are bottlenecked because they've got a bunch of artillery. In the in the uh, in the mix. So let's get two units to do the counter battery stuff now. This unit of pikemen should be easy to fell. They're only at 135 men. Unfortunately, enough of our men are sat back that apart from some sporadic round shot engagement, we should be fairly safe. So let's speed up time a little bit because right now the main effort is going to be uh, to be honest I might get them all to do this artillery fire the nearest set of guns the biggest direct threat at least until other units get into the mix but for now nearby set of howitzers is, is, is the bigger concern compared to these scattered infantry units well, 
Although now they're getting closer, there's definitely an argument to say, get one of them to uh, do some quick climbing. Especially as all this artillery has not done anything more except kill one archer. Not one archer, kill one gunner. That's all it's managed to do. Bit of artillery back there, we have infantry fleeing. If we had more cavalry going after their uh, gunners might be a more of a more appetizing target. I really hope you guys aren't about to I was gonna say, I hope you guys aren't about to scale that wall, that'd be a terrible idea. I managed to kill more of the, the 18 pounders next to their artillery than what we we're actually aiming at. Okay, this fellow that's quick climbing, you now aim at this unit of Mamelukes. Yeah, look, so one of their artillery units fires so short it doesn't actually hit the fort at all, so we're not worried about them. But yeah, we're going to be on sped up time because. Right now, they don't have the strength to attack us, and I don't really think they want to. Not massively, anyway. So, let's just let our quick lime and artillery do the business, because right now we're getting lots of good free kills, for the want of a better word. Probably drop a unit onto these... Janissary Musketeers of Quick Climb? Nope. These guys are the better target. Look at all that cavalry. So much death and damage. So how goes the artillery fight? Uh, they've killed two more crew of the actual guns. We haven't destroyed any actual howitzers. We've destroyed foot artillery and we've made it stop firing. This is still the most lucrative quicklime target, because these chaps are probably going to die once they get into the fort, although it might be worth hitting them once. One more bout prior to them doing battle with our actual infantry. So let's see how the shells do, trying to navigate such a dodgy position. Yeah, there we go. Down to seventy-three men. Don't shoot at them anymore. Aim at the ca aim at the uh, the cavalry. Because right now, there's no real need to uh, do anything else. To be honest, we could probably get this other 12-pounder to do quick climb duties as well. Mainly because we are getting to the point where it's a, case, it's a question of uh, destroying their, their ability to wage war. Yeah, the Muslim... We've killed another general through quick climbing this cavalry unit. Uh, the Muslim aren't sure if they want to actually come in yet or not. They're about to be followed by some Armenian archers who will become very unhappy when they uh, will become very unhappy when they end up getting shot at by fire by rank. Yeah, there they go. Yeah, so right now we very much are too strong for the AI to take on, at least with the forces they have, on the, have at their disposal. They don't really have the capacity to conduct assaults like they did at the start of the battle. So that's why they didn't really know what to do. That's why. Well, the problem is, is they're sending cavalry units 
in piecemeal because they can't actually uh, they don't have the strength to do one large actual assault so that's why they send units in piecemeal which is why they will be repulsed at great cost to them every time so they've lost 85 men before they've even made it to the breach and this is why folks i really wanted quick climb because well, eh, you go well you guys know by now quick climb is awesome it's the only word for it people might describe it as dirty or not cheating exactly but um overpowered See, now these guys can fire at will because they have a good target to shoot at. The fifth order going down. And as they march into the gates of hell, they uh, experience our volleys. Good, we managed to kill them before they hit the centre. And there they go. But yeah, so right now, I think this is coming down to more of a uh, a game of seeing who can outlast who. And the answer is going to be me. Because they can't really do anything about my constant quick climbing. And it's nice of them to now start bringing in actual units. And it's even nicer that they start, they're seemingly uh, bugging out in the same places. Allowing us some... Well, like, this is cheap. Just bombarding these guys with quicklime, but... So much so, I want to see it. Close hit, I want to see one go BAM! Right down through the middle. Like that, yes! But this is it. We were under siege against great odds I will take every tactical advantage I can get in order to uh, keep my men alive even if that means just shelling the hell out of them with I don't know chemical or biological agents uh, from my howitzers <laughs> this is yeah They're still just shaken, but they might be very upset in a minute. Boom. Yeah, this is what things I've devolved to. So much so I'm probably just going to get my 24 pounder, fire at will, quick lime, and just let them shoot at whoever they like. Then when they have no more targets to shoot at, they can... Uh, They can, well, they can pick their own targets. And this Nizam unit thinks they're going to try and scale the wall. But let's watch them go into the breach. They do look so good as an infantry unit. So it's the first concerted effort in a long time. That's a handful of men, not very many. I think they're going to attempt to try and uh, assault the command HQ. In force. Some of them have broken and ran. 38th are going to continue trying their luck. go back to uh, high speed uh, <laughs> quick climb action oh, hello 
Oh no, are these guys going to start doing the quick climb dance? They are. So these Nizam. Oh, these are Nizam Senate rifles. They look really. They look very similar. I suppose that's kind of the point. It's supposed to be more of a remodeling of the Ottoman army. Don't tell me you guys are going to try and attack. Your skirmishes. These guardsmen no longer have any ammunition. So the Swiss line, you take up position in sight. So let's retarget these lighter guns just in case they uh, they are determined. Oh, the foot artillery ran away. But let's watch these Mamelukes go in. Poor souls. These marines are few in number, though. to attack the Mamelukes. Bring out this unit of infantry in the place of the Marines. 66% would keep an eye on these guys. I think I suppose you guys have been bombarded by uh, round-shotting artillery from a, for a long time. The cavalry came back. Let's see if we can route them quickly. Understandable, this Swiss line unit is upset. Two units of rifles are now up in there against my Swiss line. Get some more Swiss line in there to help defend the building. Is that quick line coming in? Sadly not, but the rifles are fleeing. Speed up time once more. Yeah, there they go. See, so this is. Artillery from way back here, trying to drop quickline on us, and they can't go any, can't reach the town. But they're still coming. So the presence of all of that artillery is part of the reason why they cannot do what they want to do. It's because they can't. They're still limited by the number of men they can have on the field at once. So they can't have two stacks at once if they're the same faction. They can keep bringing new reinforcements in. Oh no! Lost a Swiss unit. I suppose they focused, changed their shift to their fire from these guys into the. Uh, to the building, which is a much bigger target. Eh, it's just speed up time. My Swiss line are going to kill the Delhi horsemen. They're not going to win that exchange. Not at close range, they won't. So everyone drop quick climb on this unit of Feline. Actually, let's get one of you to hit that Hey Dut Irregulars. You 
you guys can't reach. Hey, you actually got a reinforcement reinforcing unit of line infantry from the uh, the unit behind the lines. Okay, let's actually focus fire them with all of our artillery now because they're starting to do some. You know, they do. It's little bits of damage, but it's still enough. It's only one gun now. Because one of them decided to not fire, although it looks like. Some of our artillery doesn't care for that. But what the. But what the uh, the other artillery dropping quick climb does do is it makes me not really want to sally out and actually defend and we'll go and try and kill any of the enemy artillery because there's no point. Are these semis just going to stand here? Okay, you do you do you guys. I think though we're going to be winning the uh, attrition war from this aspect. Especially more so if this artillery fires. Let's drop artillery in the centre here. They're coming in on mass. Okay, so the, it's semi-actual Janissaries are getting in there now. So this is where it could be a bit dicey. Stop firing. You guys can't do anything else, so you guys... This regiment of foot might just storm in. Bring my Swiss Guard over here as well, for the same reason. Everyone else, round shot the... Uh, the howitzers, they've only got one gun left. The battle's nearly over anyway, there's only four minutes left because this episode's gone on to a full hour. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop firing, buddies. You're okay because you're engaging those guys routing. Swiss Guard are outing. That's fair enough. You guys stop firing as well. But these guys are probably going to be their last action because they have three minutes left. And I don't think Muslim and Semenes are going to be the devastating assault force that they might hope they would be. Semenes are charging in. Yep, that's it. So even though we might be quite comfortably in command of the fort, we still have taken a fair number of casualties purely because they have so much artillery they can just pick at us. Actually, so let's get... So the semi Genesis have routed. Let's throw... Let's throw a couple of units into the mix. Just to make this end quicker, because Semenes are no better really than Militia. Yeah, they're wavering. Yeah, they're wavering with half the number left remaining. Unless this was their plan, to lure us all into the command HQ so they could destroy it.
right, so let's get everyone out. Just in case. Soon, 17, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hurrah! Victory is ours after another hour of playing of just finished recording Louisiana 35. Um, spoiler alert! Uh, <laughs> end battle. Heroic victory. The garrison of Venice need immediately. And that's the kind of thing we need to do. 9,000 casualties! 9,000. So the reason why the artillery isn't up here is because I, th I think... When they drop a quicklime shell, any people that die in the, you know, big egg shape of quicklime don't count as killed by the artillery. It has to be like if the shell lands on them or something like that. Like if it was a normal round shot. So that's why it's all infantry up here. Um, but this might be short-lived, depending on how strong their uh, armies are to the rear. I mean, there's three stacks right there. So, uh, I mean... 9,000 kills I'll take. But I do need to immediately follow that up with reinforcements. Whew. Ooh, here come the Russian Navy. But the stack of troops going to land them. Ooh, is that going to hit our main fleet? Ooh, that's quite a good fleet. Uh, let's try and... I really don't want to fight it because I suck so bad. <laughs> Auto it! Yes! It cost a lot of ships, but... God damn. Whatever their plan is, it's been uh, slowed down. But... Yeesh, that was a big fight near Venice. A rake in Spain, eh? Let's get you over to here to help try and finally go try and kill that Russian. But, firstly, replenish. You guys, replenish and get in. Okay, let's try and pull an infantry unit out first before that. Let's pull a weak artillery unit out. Drop a new one in. Get the Swiss line out. Get you in. To be honest, 300 militia is probably more useful than a small number of Swiss guard. But I'm probably going to pick up some regular grenadiers to help bolster the fleet. You guys get back to port. Pronti a ripartire. And get repaired. You're going to be joined by two first, second rates, which is going to be nice. Let's make that two more. You're going to be completely replenished, and we're going to repair the governor's building, probably, to make you guys chill out. So there's some armies coming back to the south. Signore. But the idea is we've now got a big block of armies here. Let's see if we can keep religious unrest growing, because they are unhappy. So this garrison force can't leave, lest they provoke rebellion. I think I'm probably going to take an army like you, under Giovanni Contarini, and engage Sanduk Hamid. Although we are at war with Britain again, so... Mr. Defendi, get onto your ships. Let's sail you around to Safaki. Let's get this guy in Naples. This unit of militia over to Toronto. I could have landed them straight off of Tripoli, but I don't really. I want to keep the road to Tunis covered. So these guys are going to march towards Tripoli, ready to put them under siege and attack. Then we will have another actual front line with the Ottomans. So you guys have a second rate ship of the line. Small raiding force by the looks of it. 
was on their way towards me. To be honest, you guys, even though you're replenishing, you guys can probably move out. Yeah, you're unhappy, but this follow-up militia army can sit in Athens and keep them chipper while you guys march up. Yeah, this is the guy I want, I think. With all that cavalry, he can try and chase them down, especially as they have no camels. Um, let's move Nino, just out of range. Giovanni, hit Sanduk Hamid. So they're all within range of support. And then we're going to continue to push towards Istanbul. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for yet another fight against the Ottomans on our march towards Istanbul. Cheers everyone.